In the 21st century, nations cannot and we cannot allow them to redraw borders by force. These are the ground rules. And if we fail to uphold them, we will rue the day. Russia has violated these ground rules and continues to violate them. Today, Russia is occupying sovereign Ukrainian territory. Let me be crystal clear, the United States does not, will not, never will recognize Russia's attempt to annex to Crimea. If you fail, the experiment fails. It is no exaggeration to say that the hopes of freedom-loving people the world over are with you, because so much rides on your fragile experiment with dem democracy succeeding. It's equally important, by the way, for aggressors around the world to understand that they can't use coercion, bribery, sending tanks and men across a border to extinguish the dreams and hopes of a people. For if you succeed, that message is sent around the world. It's mercenaries across the border. Russian tanks and missiles still fill the Donbass. Separatist forces are organized, commanded, and directed by Moscow. By Moscow. Not local purpose, not local prejudice, or to guide America. and Europe now stand together, united in our commitment to impose tough economic sanctions on Russia. And while Russian aggression persists, the cost imposed on Moscow will continue to rise. The United States and Europe will maintain pressure until Moscow fulfills its commitments under the Minsk Agreement. While there has been some progress in de-escalating de the violence, there can be no sanctions relief unless and until Russia meets all, all of its commitments under the Minsk Agreement. With one I said we will not recognize any nation having a sphere of influence. Sovereign states have the right to make their own decisions and choose their own alliances, period.